Let's talk about the weather app and how you can change the weather location on the iPad. Well, as you probably know, there is no actual built-in weather app on the iPad, and it has been like this since the beginning, since the first iPad. However, if you want to use a widget for your home screen, you can definitely use a built-in weather widget. But the problem is that since you don't have a dedicated weather app where you could set up your locations and decide if you want to use uh, your current location or something else, then there is no way to really modify the widget. And a lot of people are having like the Cupertino weather even, then, even when they don't live there or Los Angeles, just like in my case. And they're wondering how you can change the location. And the way you do that is that you add your widget to the home screen and once you are in the edit mode, you can get there by holding down to any app. You can tap the widget and it's gonna just rotate and flip around like this. And there you have the option to change the location. So there you can choose and pick whatever you really want. You also have some third party options to go for, but it's still kind of tricky that we don't have a dedicated weather app. If you'd like to know why we don't have that, uh, there is a great video from Apple Explain, it's just like two minutes, explaining why we don't have a dedicated weather app on our iPads after it being released for more than 10 years. By the way guys, before we continue with the video, I also want to say that if you are new on uh, the Apple Fox channel, you can also subscribe so you don't miss future uploads. Also, one other thing that I would like to say is that you can also go ahead and download some third-party weather apps. But it's definitely something to consider because there are only a few like really great and usable alternatives to like the stock widget. So you can download the weather channel, but in case you take a look at your widget on the home screen, you can see in the corner that it uses data from the weather channel. So you're basically going to have the very same information there. So I don't think that there is like a real purpose of downloading the app, only in case you would like to open up the actual app and not just use the widget. Besides that, you also have Carrot Weather and this is kind of an interesting app and it was like the editor choice for a while and it's a kind of different weather app because if you download it and use it for the very first time, it asks you how you would like the app to behave. Like you have the professional weather app that's going to behave like any other and you can just slide the slider to the right and it, the app will get progressively more aggressive and even rude to you at times. So definitely an interesting app. Like of course it gives you, I would say, reliable weather information. But it also requires you to purchase some premium versions in case you would like to have the widget. So um, definitely something to take a look at. And the last recommendation I would have would be the Yahoo Weather. It's pretty basic, you probably know about it, but it has uh, the option to use, and it has like a dedicated iPad app, so it's not gonna be just a zoomed in iPhone, and you can definitely have a widget as well, so definitely something to take a look at. And you can expect some reliable information. Besides that, if you search for weather on the App Store, there are plenty of other apps that you can browse through and pick the one, but I wanted to mention to you the most popular and probably useful ones so there are the options but I guess that you only wanted to know how to change the widget location also one more thing because uh, as you probably know I made a video about the iPhone 8 plus and if you should buy it in the 2022 and I linked this video that you're currently watching under the iPhone 8 plus review simply because this one, the weather video of the iPad, was entirely shot on the iPhone 8 Plus. So you could watch that and judge the video quality of the iPhone 8 Plus camera. I really do think that it's gonna help you with the decision and if you are interested in the iPhone 8 Plus, you can take a look at that video as well. But this would be pretty much it. Hopefully you liked it, hopefully you enjoyed it. And for more content like this, definitely stay tuned and subscribe to the Apple Fox channel. Have a great rest of the day and see you guys in the future.